Well, hello, this is Jan Sircone, and this is the first in a series of recordings that I'm making, directed by Spirit, and this first one is called Awakening. I've decided to break down the information, the transmissions, and the vibration that I'm bringing now into four different levels, so it's very comfortable to digest this information at whatever level you are working with in your own personal spiritual awakening process. So this first tape is called Awakening. You may have noticed that there's many changes in our environment. People's behavior is changing. The earth energies are changing. The weather geophysical changes. We're having many changes in the structure and underpinnings of every level of our society. This, the good news is, has all been planned and it is part of an overall plan to shift all activity, people, places, and things back into a divine, harmonious patterning on the earth. So particularly interesting to you would be how this will change life for you. Obviously, you're already experiencing many changes on many levels, so we are going to go over some of those changes now. I'm hoping that this information can give you a sense of comfort, a sense of awareness that these things are natural and that many other beings have just recently gone through these same changes. So there's very um, a great amount of support and information on many levels for you, spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally all of these changes for truly life on earth as we have experienced it is now shifting i will often use the term vibration vibration relates to music and so i can almost say accurately that all of life on earth is shifting into a new octave and an octave is simple is a simply eight notes. If you're a musician, you understand this. Da, 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 da. We are going from a certain uh, chording, a chord, a musical resonance on earth, and it is being shifted and lifted up. This, of course, seems like esoteric terms, but in fact is happening on a very physical level, and it's simply physics. The actual earth grid and the energies around the earth have been pre-programmed to shift significantly and particularly quantum shifts at the time of 2012. One way of looking at this great change for earth that has been prophesized by many, many religions but not realized yet or quite understood is that we are ending separation. On earth, the minute we are born, we have been separated from our Creator. And there is a sense of loneliness, of having been stranded here. And I, I can understand that every single person listening to this knows exactly what I'm talking about. We have struggled to connect with other humans, to feel this connection of being loved and trusting our experience here on earth. Again, the good news is that there has been a divine plan dispensed by our Creator from the highest level of Source, God, whatever picture that you have of this energy and essence that governs the entire multi-universes, that there definitely is a plan and that these shifts will occur in the right time, in the right space, 
for every individual that is choosing and longing to go into this new higher vibration for Earth where mankind can live in benevolent, harmonious ways that are also sustainable for our beautiful Earth herself. So this is very exciting. During the day, while you are experiencing physical symptoms and you're beginning to wonder how you will support yourself through these changes, you may be having visions, you may be having physical upgrades. It's almost like taking a certain light bulb and where it used to go into a socket of a certain voltage, your body is now actually being asked to plug into a higher voltage. So how do we safely and calmly restructure all of these systems in our body? I thought I would start with the physical support and symptoms because it's very basic. Number one, drink lots of water to keep your electrical system protected. Our bodies are electromagnetic systems of vibrational consciousness. And so we need lots of water to make these proper connections and upgrades as comfortable experience as possible. One way that you can help neutralize and balance your electrical system is to bathe in natural salts. There's wonderful essential oils. I often just use Epsom salts, magnesium. All of these salts help your system um, be relaxed. Some people need to take two baths a day even. Swim in nature is another way to balance and equalize these, again, um, unique higher electrical charges coming into the body. And know that your experience of awakening in these changes will be different than every other human because you are unique and the minute you were born, you came in with a particular mosaic and patterning of vibrational uh, uh, coherence that was scheduled to be upgraded at a particular time. So again, this is all very natural and can be trusted. Some people like to use tools, a crystal to protect your energy field. You can uh, work with sound. The most important um, element or process that you can bring forth right now for yourself for these changes is to meditate. To be able to sit still and breathe and meditate and still your mind. For the truth is held within your heart and your heart will bring forth these natural intuitive messages from your higher self and from the angelic realm. So this is all easy to attain if you are able to still your logical mind with all the thoughts, all the lists, all of the things that vibrated with the old earth grid, with the old life. In many ways, you are going to be asked to surrender and let go of so many old beliefs from your family of origin, from even people around you. So to absolutely understand this new path that you have laid out with the Creator for yourself, for the divine plan, you're going to need to trust your intuition within your own heart until that voice is louder than all of the voices of confusion and fear around you. So how do we meditate? In a few minutes, I will take you through a very simple process, and I call it the Be the Light process, so that, in fact, you can raise your vibration raise the light, the energy, the illumination, more connection with your own divine source in your body. It's a very simple three-point process. Another way to support your body, your physical system, is to drink drinks 
that have electrolytes in them and be sure and limit your sugar. Very important to limit sugar. It's not good for the body on any level. Take yourself out into nature. Nature has not lost its connection to divine proportion. So if you are able to go barefoot on the ground, touch trees to breathe fresh air, you're already assisting yourself to go back into this matrix of vibrational harmony. Try to get away from the electromagnetic frequencies. Our computers are wonderful tools now, but I recommend if you spend two hours on your computer that you take a 10 or 15 minute break just to walk around and breathe and if possible get out in nature to reground your system. An excellent book and it's actually been around quite quite a long time is called What is Light Body? It is a channeled book by Archangel Ariel and it's fabulous because as we awaken this crystalline light body there's many many names for it there are some typical traditional awarenesses and symptoms and new gifts and opportunities so this will again give you uh, encouragement and support when you are uncomfortable in this process it is very simple to ask your angels and guides to help neutralize some of the physical symptoms. If you are feeling agitated, over-energized, ask them to simply cool down and slow down this process to balance your energies. I also suggest that the, since so many people are going through these same um, processes, that if you find others that you can trust and talk to, I call them circles, circles of light. And you can compare and support each other and generally make this whole process go smoother. While you are working with these upgrading energies and awarenesses, it's important to stay away from negativity. Negative people, uh, negative television programs, and try to set a calmer, slower, more natural pace in your life every day. One of the ways to do this is to develop ritual. This has a very interesting um, energy when you say it, but ritual is just as simple as um, the indigenous simple people getting up with the sun, making a meal, saying prayers, doing the work. It is the natural rhythm of caring for the physical body in relationship to the natural rhythms of the earth. So finding ritual will help you stay grounded and again calm and connected. Strive for simplicity in your home and routine. This will help your nervous system again to have a place of grounding and calm. Sometimes you may feel alone. Again in the meditation you can ask to be shown the easiest next step. There's always an easiest next step. It doesn't have to be huge leaps but just what can I do next to understand more of who I truly am or to calm down this process of awakening if it's a, a, a bit much or as old belief systems and old areas in your life come up that need to be healed you can find excellent wonderful healers in your community and you can go inside and ask for your angels to assist you Prayer is very important, and in a moment I will read a beautiful prayer for you that I, uh, my dear friend has, has written. As you awaken, you will learn that your entire life has created 
a holograph matrix to give you the skills and the base for what is being asked of you to deliver to the divine plan. You suddenly will have a new sense of yourself and it will be um, a sense of awe that things that didn't really make sense as to why you took this course or did this activity or married that person will have a magical uh, cohesiveness that you will be able to stand back and say, now I see that I needed to have that experience to move on to this particular experience. One way to keep your body uh, relaxed through this is to have uh, regular massages and to move and to integrate and stabilize these energies in your physical body, which is always wonderful. Um, listen to relaxing music. Music and sound are very important, supportive tools during this process. So there's many beautiful relaxing CDs. You can hum or sing yourself. Practice positive affirmations. Now the best ones are ones that you write yourself. Um, and again, this can come from your heart or your higher self. So practice these positive affirmations, especially when you're feeling not so safe, maybe a little shaky and not so sure of what is really happening. Next, no artificial products in or around the body. We want to return our electrical system and our skin and in our digestive system back to the highest vibrational level. So this does include a clean, clear diet every day, all the time. Drinking water that is clean and clear and supporting your diet increasingly with higher vibrational foods. So those are just some of the ways that I have thought of to help help you support um, yourself on all all levels as we as we make these changes. So we might begin each day in prayer. My friend Michaela Cordeo has written this beautiful morning prayer. O oh, beloved Mother, Father God, I love you and I thank you for bringing me every good and perfect thing. Thank you for my growth, learning, and healing. Thank you for meeting my material needs. Thank you for your love and for your blessings. For myself, my family, and all upon this sacred earth, may I live this day aligned with your perfect will as I fulfill myself in reflecting your love, your wisdom, your joy in all I think and say and do for the highest good of all. Amen. I am your beloved child, one forever in your heart. So thank you, Michaela, for writing that beautiful prayer. You may want to write your own prayer asking your higher self or your angels who, or whoever you choose as the face of God. One way that I have learned to understand the uh, creative power in the universe is I envision a ladder from myself all the way up to the Creator. Somehow the Creator or Source is a more natural way for me to think of this un holding light and love that has created this universe. On this ladder, it's vibration. The very highest frequency, the purest light, would be creator source. And that unfolds down this ladder. And there are many, many faces that humans throughout time have, have identified as beings who carry a great amount of light and wisdom. Buddha. Jesus Christ, Kuan Yin, 
Krishna, I says. So I invite you to choose the being, the beautiful consciousness and energy field of the being that you most resonate with to support you through this process of becoming an ascended master, lighted being yourself. It's almost as if we beings on earth have been asleep. I'll never forget I sang uh, the Bach um, piece, uh, Sleepers Awake. And I didn't quite understand what it meant at the time. But in fact, now uh, it was prophesied by uh, the great humanitarian Rudolf Steiner that humans would awaken and shift all of reality in the years of the 2000s and that it would be the artists in the northern American region who would bring sound, light, and color through the ethers to shift mankind's consciousness and to recreate and bring heaven to earth. So this awakening, I have written a poem about this awakening and this is how it goes forgive me creator for silence so long I now tell my story of how things went wrong my heart was quiet my hands went unused I forgot as above so below Forgive me, sweet Father, for silence so long. Beneath my awareness, veiled in selfishness so wrong. Before me my path, which you have always lit for me. I believe, as above, so below. Forgive me, sweet Mother, for silence so long. My throat and my heart now lift up to your light. The truth of love shall guide me unfailingly as I become, as above, so below. The womb of creation now fills me with light. I light up my body to heal and make right. Creator was patient till I exhausted every human fear. So I could be as above, so below. Devotional passions stream in my blood. The fire within, fuel for the word. The song of truth shall bring faith in eternity. As we sing, as above, so below. The father and mother divided, now one. I stand here at last, daughter next to the son. Fused by pure love, the chalice is full again. As I become, as above, so below. So in truth, we are each filling our hearts with this vibration of divinity. We are anchoring this consciousness of our Creator here in our bodies on earth. And the truth of it is, the earth is changing only because we humans are bringing through these higher vibrations and we are emanating these new frequencies out into the earth plane. If you are listening to this CD on some level, you have chosen to be one of the healers, the artists who are emanating these new vibrations to change reality. So I, I welcome you to this exciting, beautiful recreation of earth. I, I often call it, it's the greatest story ever told. And it is your story. You are penning your own joyous, passionate, delving into what you 
always promised to do and how to be here on earth. And it hasn't been easy because as artists, uh, the, the mass consciousness has not always honored and held this work in the highest esteem. So I'm going to read a little bit uh, from Live and Love, Michaela Cordeo's book, this uh, feeling sometimes that we have not been supported. First of all, the idea of the collective expression of humanity is one that will incorporate the individuality of each of its parts. Secondly, the full expression of the unified spirit will be something we cannot imagine from the information presently available. Just as many cells come together and form an organ, many organs come together and form a living being. Now, many individuals will come together and form the collective, unified presence. The collective form looks nothing like its parts, and yet each is an indispensable part. However, we are not yet finished with this individualization part, and we have no clear understanding of exactly when the unification will happen possibly not for hundreds or thousands of years. Lightworkers who have given up all ties to their former lives. So this process of individualization, first finding themselves and then moving into the unification. So we are being asked to surrender our ties to our former lives, ties that were based on the old programs of hard work, codependency, and various other culturally imposed expectations and values. They are learning to trust God for their daily needs. They are learning to love and trust each other. They are learning to live every day in God consciousness. We can call this the Christ consciousness. They are learning to trust and honor their physical bodies while surrendering to the guidance of the spirit within. We are learning that abundance comes in many forms now, not just money or material prosperity. We are learning to recognize the hand of God in our lives and to give thanks in all things. We are also learning to heal our issues around money and to accept it in other forms of material prosperity as part of a growing sense of worthiness. This sense of self-worth is so core and so important. And Michaela has touched upon this, that we must individuate, separate, go through this process of inner uh, referencing and sorting and healing and clearing and individuation. And then we find our place in the community, in these circles, to light up and heal the earth. Rudolf Steiner has also said this very, very clearly. So what I would like to do next is take you through the process um, that I have developed with other healers and also I've uh, worked with a great teacher, Carolyn Corey. And I've boiled down to a very simple three-point process in how to work with your body and these new energies to be the captain of your frequency field, to be the commander, to be in charge, and so that you can steer and navigate your way safely through all of these changes. So again, it's called the Be the Light three-point process, and so I'm going to invite you now to be in a quiet space and close your eyes and sit up nice and straight, and if possible, Put your feet on the ground, and we'll begin this process together. The first step is to take a breath through your nose 
and out through your mouth. This helps reprogram your nervous system so that you can become calm and grounded and bring in this beautiful vibration of infinite trust that we are so needing now. The first step is we say, I ask and intend to set a sacred space. So what does this mean? It means we are asking spirit to assist us to make a boundary between ourselves, our body, and our own energy field in all other people, places, and things. We make an intention, and as a human, we have this gift of free will in exercising our ability to maneuver and change reality simply by guiding our consciousness through our intention. It's like taking the reins of the power, all the powers that be, and creating something new. We do it all the time. When we say, I want a chocolate ice cream, that's exactly the experience that we create for ourselves. So we are learning to harness the inter, more subtle, energetic processes of our body, our heart, and our consciousness to help again with these shifts that we have slated for ourselves. So we say, I ask and intend to set a sacred space. And what does that look like? I often use a beautiful geometric structure. It can be as simple as placing ourselves in a diamond or a pyramid, a four-sided pyramid. Just imagine that your body is nice and safe and calm with this nice boundary of these beautiful four walls. And of course it's invisible, it's see-through, you're using your imagination. The second step is, it's called invoking, which means just calling in or asking for other energies to come in. And this is where this picture of this ladder is so fun. You can ask in any being, any angel, any archangel, any being of light, Christ, source, God, Isis, you just simply say, I ask for the beingness of blank, blank, blank to be here with me now. And you go in your heart and you will sense and know this gentle wave of energy. So let's just practice this now a moment together. We ask and intend to call in the energy of Mother Mary. Feel and sense if there's any subtle, gentle shifts in your energy field. Feel this and take this energy into your heart. And take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. Now we ask and intend to bring in the energy of Archangel Michael. And again, notice. Do you sense any shift of colors? Any movement in your body? Just enjoy this beautiful, gentle shift of energy within your own field. So what we are doing now is we are bringing in a higher vibration. One that is helping you shift your physical body just by their very presence. This is a vibrational entrainment. It's physics. One vibrational field always shifts and begins vibrating with the higher vibrational field. So simply by calling in one of the beings on the ladder, you already are having a sense of being enlivened, a, a finer, more delicious sense of relaxing, balanced energy. So that's step two of the three-point process. Step three is where it gets exciting because we get to take these reins of this horsepower, of this beautiful, protected highly vibrating energy and we get to make an intention. We get to call in something that we would like to experience in our lives. For instance, I ask and intend 
to bring in the energy of joy into my heart. And you can sense and feel this vibration. You can ask and intend to bring in a vibration of peace. But most often, because we are going through this peeling and unpeeling, often we are finding energies in our body that are not so comfortable and ones that we would like to release. So we use the same wording. I ask and intend to release the vibration of grief 